Greetings, everyone. I am Martina Severo, Oracle card reader, astrologer, certified infinite possibilities coach, and founder and creator of Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. I'm so grateful you are here. Welcome to my channel. In case no one has told you today, you are beautiful, just the way you are. You are precious and adored and loved beyond all measure. You are valued. You are worthy. You are needed. You are stronger than you think. You are here for a reason. You are going to get through any challenges that you may be facing. Don't give up before the miracle happens. You are not alone. You are safe and you are protected. And did I mention, I'm so happy you are here. I hope you will stay for a while. Slow down. Take time to breathe. Put your feet up. Relax. Take this time for yourself. You are worth it. This time together is for you. Love gathers here. And you are always welcome. And I hope that you will return. Today I am here with the energy forecast for the week of November the 5th to November the 11th. What do spirit, our angels, guides, and light workers want us to know for our highest good? See what spirit has to say. Special thanks goes out to all those who viewed last week's video, left a comment, or subscribed to my channel. I'm truly honored and most grateful. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you're seeing value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share. It really makes a huge difference. In the description box below, you'll find all the links to everything I mentioned in this video. I've also provided timestamps to help you find the information you're looking for quickly and easily. Remember to leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you are looking for information on what is going on in the heavens, I have created a list of some of the astrologers that I follow and put it in the description box below, along with a link to one of their social media platforms. Many of them post on more than one platform, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and have their own websites. A simple search and you will find them. But even simpler, I invite you to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where I will continue to share their posts on my pages. So you will find their information there as well. A one-stop shop, so to speak. For those of you who know me, you know I love trees. I talk to them all the time, thanking them for their beauty and glory, welcoming them back in the spring from their deep sleep, thanking them for the shade on hot summer days, admiring the beauty of the fall colors and the feel and sound of shuffling through their leaves, wishing them a peaceful sleep and sweet dreams as they prepare for our long, cold winter. They have such wisdom for us. For the most part, I've always worked with card decks created by Colette Baron reed Denise Lynn, Kyle Gray, and Radley Valentine. Because I love trees so much, I started searching for a deck about trees and discovered this awesome new Oracle card deck. Tree Keepers Oracle is created by Angie Sullins and features a stunning artwork of Stephanie Law. The cards are gorgeous. both the messages and artwork. The story of how these cards were created is fascinating. Angie writes, long ago, before trees were used for their pulp and fiber to find our stories, they were story protectors of a different kind. As legend and druids can tell you, there are places on the planet where the veil between the worlds is thin and the trees were guardians of these sacred spaces. During that age, if one was lucky, one might encounter a door in the tree, trunk of a tree known as a doorway, a portal between magical worlds. The contents of this oracle were entrusted to me from a tree keeper in Lapland who guarded the ancient groves. The tree keeper gifted me her legacy book. Tree Keeper's Oracle is derived from that tome. I hope you will enjoy them. So now, let us ask Spirit, God, the Universe, Yahweh, Source, Creator, Allah, 
Brahma, Jehovah, our higher power. What empowering message do spirit, our angels, guides, and light workers want us to know for our highest good for the week ahead? From Angie Sullen's Tree Keepers Oracle card deck, we are gifted with number 23, Keeper of Truth. From the guidebook. No matter what you're facing right now and how it tempts you to look away, one thing is certain. Your anxiety is lying to you. The thoughts and beliefs that come from our early unworthiness programming are false stories. The crippling fear that you're not enough that it'll never happen for you, that you are less than deserving of every good thing, all lies. It's time to unmask those falsities and seek proof of your inherent value and great worthiness, not by listening to the old stories, but by telling new ones. Follow the tree keeper's example and have a conversation with the moon. Listen to her encourage you to shine. Endeavor to hear the voice that speaks the truest and most beautiful tale of you, even when facing uncertainty or doubt. What a beautiful message for us for the week ahead. There's so much truth here. It's time to tell a new story. Those thoughts and beliefs that we are Unworthy, unlovable, not good enough, undeserving, all those things that keep us in fear, separated from love, from source, from the power that we are, all those things are lies. There is so much more that than what our eyes can see is to have the heart to know. It's all about love. We see and hear so many things that lead us into fear. Just watch the TV, listen to the radio or read the newspaper. And though there may be many bad news and heartbreaking stories, there are also good news stories. Where do we put our attention? If we focus on fear, separation, anger, revenge, we will attract more of that into our lives, into our world. What we focus on grows. If we focus on peace, joy, love, reconciliation, forgiveness, then we will attract more of that into our lives, into our world. If we want peace, we need to be peace. If we want love, we need to be love. If we want joy, we need to be joy. As the lyrics to the song, Let There Be Peace on Earth says, let it begin with me. Our heart knows the truth. We need to be still, breathe deeply, slow down, go within, and listen to our intuition and trust and have faith in the truth of who we are. We are the spark of the divine, safe, protected, sacred, holy, powerful. We are infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. We are children of the divine. We are healed. We are healers. We are whole. We are generous givers and excellent receivers. We are joyous, abundant, and free. We are worthy and we are blessed. We are love. We are loved. We are lovable. We are one. It's time to return home and embody all that we are. We are light and we are love. Let us shine our light and love for all to see. The time is now. We need to stay strong and steadfast. Trust and have faith. Let us be a guardian and keeper of truth. And a home. And so it is. This empowering message from Keeper of Truth was for anyone who happens to read or listen to it. Now, let's make this more personal. I invite you to tune into your intuition. 
Let go of all worries and distractions just for this short time. Let's gather our energies and come back to our heart. Hand on heart. Breathe slowly and deeply. And take a look at these three cards. Which one is calling to you? Ask yourself, what message, what wisdom does spirit have for me for the week ahead? Do you feel called to card number one? Or does your intuition say, yes, it's card number two? Does your intuition say, nope, it's card number three. Card number one is from Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle card deck, number 36, Come to the Edge. Essential meaning. Courage. Taking a leap of faith. Overcoming fear. And accepting risk. The Oracle's message. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated, to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. Prosperity message. If ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now. And if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than what than you can, could imagine. Take that step. The results will be amazing. Card number two is from Denise Lynn's The Sacred Forest Oracle card deck, number 15, Elves. Essential meaning, playfulness. elves have invited you to dance with them under the stars and moonlight. The music begins and you twirl and leap with glee. Elves and fairies dance around you and the wild spirit of the night fills you. All inhibitions dissolve and you giggle with delight as the spirit of playfulness embraces you. Allow your inner child to play. Embrace your innocence. If you have been taking life too seriously, this card reminds you to lighten up. All that is required of you is to enjoy yourself. If your responsibilities and hard work have clogged your life force energy, it's time to give yourself a break and have some fun. Nurture your spirit by doing something unexpected, madcap, 
or even silly. The greatest gift that you can give the world is your joy. So make play a priority. Like fairies, elves are diminutive beings that live in the forests, meadows, and hollowed out tree trunks. There are accounts of elves throughout history and in every country in the world. Many people attest to having seen them playing in the woods. In some traditions, they are thought to be gleeful tricksters with a reputation for pranks and mischief. Allow this joyous energy into your day now. The spirit of the elf says, embrace your innocence. Let go of heavy responsibilities. Give yourself a break. Nurture your spirit by doing something fun. Joy is as important for sustaining yourself as the food you eat. Card number three is from Colette Baron Reads, the Enchanted Map Oracle Card Deck, number five, Goblins. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card's appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. May these interpretations be a guide. Allow understanding to unfold within you. Honor your individual wisdom from within over the coming week as you open yourself to the message of the card that you have picked. Stay open and curious and listen to the still small voice from within that you can always rely upon. Trust spirit. Wow, such beautiful, powerful messages. Is there something from today's video that speaks to your heart? I would love to know which card you picked and how its message resonated with you. Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. No matter where we are on our life's journey, Spirit, God, our Creator, the universe is always with us, loves us dearly, and only wants the best for us. We are divinely guided and protected. Finding the treasure in the challenges. That's what I try to do, and I can help you do it too. I would be most honored and happy to be of service to you. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and be sure to explore my website. It's easy to navigate and to find, schedule, and pay for services with just the click of a button. You're also able to book a free consultation with me. In the description box below, you will find all the links to everything I mentioned in this video. You will also find a link to my upbeat and or inspiring music playlist and direct links to some of the videos in my Getting to Know Me playlist. Be sure to check them out. Sending you so much love. I send you more than enough. May you be blessed with everything you need and so much more. Have a wonderful week ahead. Namaste.